It's Allie with Infragistics. In this video, we're gonna learn how to get started using the Xam Rich Text Editor to add rich text document editing capabilities to our WPF and Silverlight applications. So let's get started. Here we have a WPF application that we'll be using to demonstrate the various features of the Xam Rich Text Editor control. We've defined a number of buttons in our view for opening and saving documents as well as applying bold, italic, and underlined text formatting to the content within the Rich Text Editor control. In this demonstration, we'll be working with a Word document that currently exists in the public documents area of this computer named test.docx. Let's start by adding an event handler to the open button click event. You'll notice that I've already defined a file path for the location of the document we'll be working with today. Let's go ahead and add the Xam Rich Text Editor control to our design surface. We'll give the control a name of RTE. This allows me to access this control and the code behind this view. So in the button click event handler for the open, I'm going to access the rich text editor. And to access the document, I'm going to load from Word. But you'll see here that we don't have an option for load from Word. That's because we need to add references to our Word assemblies. In this case, we want to add one to the word, and let's also add one for RTF support. If we add a using statement, now we have our load from word option. So, Let's specify the path file and run the application. As you can see, we have an instance of our Xam Rich text editor. I'm gonna click the open button to load the document from the Word file that exists on the disk. As you can see, the Word document loaded as expected. So now let's go ahead and add a little bit more functionality. Although we can apply rich text formatting to the content within the Xam Rich Text Editor control and code behind, let's do it the easy way and use the built-in WPF editing commands. Let's start by selecting the bold button. We want to set the command on the bold button to toggle bold. Next, let's set the command target to the element named underscore RTE. This is the Xam Rich Text Editor control. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for both the italic and the underline. Lastly, let's implement the save. I'm going to save this as a Word document, and we're just going to use the same document that we're loading, but we'll just overwrite the document. So let's run the application and see what we have. Let's open the document and make some changes to the content. and then save the document. Now when we open the document, we can see that this has been modified in the rich text editor. Let's change that back to Word, save it, and go back to our running application and hit open. As you can see, we have reread the file that was modified in Word from disk back into the Xam Rich text editor control. Next, let's add some clipboard support for various applications, such as Word. Start by selecting the Xam Rich Text Editor and look for the clipboard properties, specifically the Clipboard Serialization Provider. 
We're going to add another type. We want to add RTF serialization, and we want to add the word serialization provider. So now we can copy rich text from Word into our Zam Rich text editor control. And there you have it. In just a few simple steps, we learned how to add rich text document editing capabilities to our WPF and Silverlight applications using Zam Rich text editor. So that's what's in development. We'll see you next time.